Hi everybody, it's Heavy Dobby here. Hope you're having a good day and um, enjoying whatever weather it is that you have at your house. <laughs> We're cold here and have snow on the ground, but it's not making it impossible for us to get out. We just have to keep the home fires burning in our little wood, you know, cabin. Anyway, uh, just wanted to show you another shirt from the mainstream clothing shop. Yes, indeed. This one's a little snug around the tummy, but um, we'll be um, wearing this very soon out in public. Very, very soon. So I'm excited um, about that, totally. Uh, my last vlog, I wanted to, I, I had mentioned something about being allergic to sugar, and um, I wanted to share with you, of course, my uh, Bible of our own uh, nutrition books here by Maria Emmerich, uh, Secrets to a Healthy Metabolism. Um, love, 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 love this book. Uh, let's see, where is it? Uh, here it is. Um, Maria says that addictive and allergic responses can cause uncontrollable eating behaviors and that people who are allergic to sugar have an intense craving for sweets. Not nothing new. I mean, some, some of you may not know that, but um, anyway, she goes on to say that people, she was giving a case study of a woman who would eat like 30 Snickers candy bars a day. I didn't, I wasn't quite that bad, but um, I did have my days where I would make a whole meal trying to fill up my stomach on sugar. Candy, just candy. Um, anyway, she says that this woman would get high on sugar. And I don't know if you remember my vlog that I did when I was loading. It was towards the end of my loading days just recently. And I look like I'm inebriated. In fact, I said I'm not inebriated. So, um, well, here, let me show you. Hi, everybody. It's Heavy Dobby, and um, this <laughs> is what I look like a when I'm low. carb overload, sugar overload, fat overload, and um, see what I mean? I, it was very enlightening when I saw myself on the video itself. I mean, I the feeling I was familiar with, and but to look at myself as I was making the vlog, I was like. I look like I'm drunk, but I'm not, and I wasn't overly tired. The only difference was that I was eating things that were, my body was processing as sugar. And the reason I say processing as sugar is because, uh, according to Maria Emmerich, she treats potatoes, corn, starches, pastas, rice, uh, winter squash, whatever. She treats those as if they are sugars, treats in their house. So a candy bar is equal to the same as a, a low-fat yogurt, Yoplait, for example, Yoplait yogurt. There is as much carbohydrates in a Yoplait yogurt as there are in a candy bar. Um, so she here's her, her formula. Four grams, your body doesn't know the difference between a yogurt and a candy bar. Your body processes carbohydrates and sugars. That's simple. For every four carbs that you have in a food, your body processes it as, as, it, as if it's a teaspoon of sugar. So she says in, in this book, she says a nine ounce bag of potato chips is, thir is equivalent to 32 teaspoons of sugar. Anyway, uh, isn't that something? She goes on to say that if you wanted to be tested for allergens, that you could but that blood tests to test for allergies are actually 90% inaccurate. And she has it underlined and in big cap letters. She says that's crazy but true. She believes that... All right, you HC jeers. Do you have your water bottles within a arm's reach? Like I said, it's time to drink our water. Ready? Count of 10. Going down. Ready? Ah, 
can get gulps. All right, back to the blood test. Her um, her suggested test for food allergens is a stool test, stool sample. Um, she says her suggestion is to cut out grains, just get rid of them, which we do on P2 and P3, don't we? Um, she said you'll just feel better. And this woman eats P3 for her lifestyle. So uh, anyway, I wanted to share that with you. There's one more little thing that she talks about for allergens that I thought was quite fascinating. She said the eight um, food allergens are milk, eggs, peanuts, tree nuts, fish, selfish, wheat, and soy. And peanuts, um, she says, are legumes. They are not nuts. And there's a lot of people who have allergies to them. She says the Oriental countries, rice is a prominent allergen. Among vegetables here in America, the prominent allergens are lettuce and potatoes. I have never run into a person who's allergic to lettuce. Have you? Hmm. Here is the one statement that I just find amazing. Because your body can be allergic, let me preface it by saying that your body can be allergic to something and you actually can, your allergy doesn't result in, you know, anaphylactic shock or, or anything like that or a rash, but it, it can be behavior like ADHD. Or it says here, scientists found that 92.2% of hospitalized schizophrenic patients were allergic to um, one or more common allergens. So 92.2 schizophrenic percent are allergic to one or more of those eight allergens that I listed. And out of those, 88% of them are allergic to wheat, 60% to milk, and 50% to corn. Isn't that amazing? <sighs> Love you, Maria. She just came out with her fourth book. It's a cookbook. I'm going to get it. Um, speaking of cookbooks, here's my P2 recipes book. Um, this gal, you can get this book on hcgrecipes.com. She has put in her effort and has organized the most wonderful book, and she charges $25. I do know that it's circulating among us HCGers. Um, you can get it for free. Um, but you know what? I would recommend buy it. Um, I think it's just helping, helping a good cause, and she's working on another book, and I think that it would be a really nice thing if we would spend that $25 because you know what we are saving so much money on HCG um, but anyway I took the book and printed it and then had it bound so and it has a plastic cover on it with a, um, so that I can keep it keep it nice but I need to use it in the kitchen so I got these um, these bags at the dollar store just because I love bags and my husband teases me because I'm taking so many supplements now that the little bags that I do use, oh, which are right here, he's always teasing me that they're getting too small. They're not. But he's always teasing me and saying that they're too small now, and then I'm going to have to start putting my supplements in one of these for, <laughs> for the day. I could get that serious. I don't know. I do have a lot of supplements on order, and... Um, and some of them that I don't need to take any longer for various reasons. So, um, anyway, I decided, you know what? I was going to go in here and I was going to take and um, make the meatball recipe, which you can find on my Facebook page, by the way. And um, so let's say that this is it. It's not. It's beef stew. But to make my recipe in the kitchen, I decided to use my bag, you guys. Look at this. Slip that puppy right in here and just fold it. Sorry, that was probably a big blur to you, but bottom line is what you've got here is a plastic covered page, and I take it into the kitchen and set it down on the counter, and I can mess up my greasy fingers or whatever. I don't have greasy fingers on P2, but um, do my recipe and come out of the kitchen with a pristine 
book. So, just a little ditty. Uh, let's see. Vlog, vlog, vlog. I'm going to do a vlog on sleep. I'm going to do a little bit more homework on it, but uh, sleep is important on P2. The most important part of it is that it helps us to release poundage. Anyway, I'm going to go. Ten minutes. Gotta love ya. Gotta love me. Love you. Bye.